Hey guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today we're doing a review on Sierra Tropical Granules. Right, what can I tell you about Sierra Tropical Granules? First of all, it was German made and generally speaking anything German made in this hobby is pretty damn good. Sierra is a particularly old brand of aquarium supplies. It's been in the hobby for quite a long time and they definitely know what they are doing. I have fed this food before and I do enjoy it. I'll just let everybody know that now. As far as the ingredients go, cornstarch, wheat gluten, fish meal, wheat flour, spirulina algae, brewer's yeast, wheat germ meal, herbs, uh, leucerine meal, can't say that word, steam needle meal, Gamma rust, sea algae meal, parsley, paprika, spinach meal, fish oil, carrots, green lip mussels meal, garlic, colorants, and a whole bunch of words I can't say after that point. The ingredients list I do not think is that fantastic. Uh, that is definitely a downside to this product. Um, it doesn't appear to be any whole fish products, any um, fresh products. I say that knowing too well that the ingredients they're putting in is, is fresh, but we're talking about like there's lots of starches, there's lots of meals and lots of wheat and that kind of stuff compared to some of the other products that are um, more seafood based products. So ingredients list, not the flashiest. Let's see how it feeds. Right, so we're feeding out the big boys today. I said big boys are not that big. Let's get some in. As you can see there, it floats quite a bit straight into the sump. It's not the best food if you're using a sump. But, as much as there's some floating, there's also some sinking. Which is something I do really like about this product. You can feed your top dwelling feeders, you can feed your mid dwelling feeders, and you can feed your bottom dwelling feeders all in this one product. It's definitely a plus, I believe, as far as this product goes. It says it's a slow sinking granule for mid to top feeders. Yeah, I would consider it not so much a slow sinking one, uh, more of a floating sinking one. Like, there's so much food getting stuck into my sump, it's not funny. If you didn't have a sump, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I clearly do. Definitely floats um, for your tops. But I, I don't consider it a slow sinking. I think it's more of a, like I said, a, a floating with a sink involved. As you can see there, now it's coming through the middle of the water column. It's very, very readily taken by all the fish in there. Like there's no dramas of them feeding it or taking it or not. Tanks in here don't always get this. Um, I do feed this product, but they don't get it uh, all the time. This particular product stays outside, and I feed it outside. Um, I bring it in maybe once every three or four weeks for a feed, and then take it back outside just for something different. So it's not like they are completely used to eating it. And they've also been fed a couple of times already today, so um, I would consider them to be uh, relatively full as far as being fed today goes um, and they're still taking it really well so I think that speaks for the product itself on how well it is is consumed by the fish all right so what do I think of the Sierra granules uh, I've read the ingredients list, which I didn't think was that fantastic. I gave it the sniff test, which I didn't think was that fantastic either. I like it's made in Germany. I like that Sarah's been in the company, in the business for a very long time, and I think they do do really good products. The fish ate it really well. I don't like the fact that it floats so much, and in my case, gets stuck or sucked into my sump. Um, but I do like the way that it sort of does float and then sinks at a good sort of gradual pace. Um, I don't like the way that they've called it a slow sinking granule because I don't think that's quite, I think it should be more of a slow 
floating or a floating slow. I don't, I'm not quite sure the right wording, but I don't think a slow sinking is the right way because it floats. Floats. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't think that's quite described the right way. Um, overall, I think it's a pass mark because the fish take it really, really well. As I was just saying, it makes them happy, but the ingredients are not that flash. I would not use it as a everyday, day-to-day -day food, but I'm happy to use it to change up the food that I do feed my fish on a regular basis. Once or twice a week, I think if you feed it too often, you might be in for a little bit of trouble um, as far as overfeeding your fish go and then sort of not giving them what they actually physically need. It doesn't cloud the water, which is fantastic, and it doesn't break up in the water, so there is lots of positives going for it, and there's a few negatives going for it. I think overall I'll give it a sort of six and a half or seven. Yeah, probably a six and a half out of ten for this. Um, I do feed it and I will continue to feed it, but it's definitely not the first thing that I grab as a day-to-day -day staple. So uh, it's worth giving it a go. Um, for your fish, it might be fantastic, but yeah, that's just my opinion on on this particular product. So there we go. It's a review on Sierra Tropical Granules.